All right, Lala, Macy, nice, nice to see y'all. So, how do you guys, how do you both feel coming into this new season? Um, we're really excited. I think our team is ready to compete and get after it. So, yeah. Yeah, and then we just have so much talent this year, and it's exciting to see what we have in store for everybody. So, Michaela, you played shortstop at shortstop last season. You're moving over to second base. What's it like to be able to head head over to the other Keystone spot? It's just a great feeling, you know. I grew up playing second base. Didn't really really play much shortstop going into or coming in my freshman year, so it's familiar. So did did Justine Molina end up teach teach working with you at second base, and what do you think she taught you that you'll take with you as you play second base this season? Justine was a very talented player, and I look up to her a lot still to this day. And one thing she taught me the most is kind of like being calm over there. You know, you get a lot of balls up the middle, especially with our type of pitching staff. You know, we got a lot of those little shoot. They're all shooting to the right side, and just being calm, having fun. You know. Fielding is always about being smooth, and I think that's what she taught me. Yeah. Macy, you're jo joining up with, with this team. What made you decide to come to UCF? Um, I just love the program and the atmosphere. I think our coaches and our teammates are really eager to win and keep getting better, and I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, college football fans, of course, might be familiar with your with your last <laughs> name. What, um, what kind of role did your dad end up playing in your sporting in, in your sporting career? Was it just kind of a normal dad, or did he kind of help you as far as a competitive standpoint? I mean, he definitely helped me um, with the competitive part, but uh, I just looked for him um, or looked to him for advice, and he helped me a lot with it, and he taught me a lot. So yeah. Did, did you end up getting a chance to, to meet some of uh, Gianna and Kama before they left? Them? I have gotten to meet them, yes. So what was so what did they get it? Even though they didn't get a chance to work with you in terms of being on the same team, did they give you any advice that you probably wanted that you want to take with you into this season? Uh, yeah, both of them said to just lean on each other, uh, use the pitching staff to the best of our ability, and look at each other when we need help and just stick together. What can you say about this year, about this year's pitching staff since Gianna and Kama took up a lot of the in, a lot of the innings. So, what do you think we could we could see with this group of pitchers? Uh, I think we're all really competitive and I think we'll work together and it'll take everybody. Um, Michaela, what do you what do you think we can we can see out of you out of you, you in terms of regression? Like, what's the difference from 2022 Michaela Macario to 2023 Michaela Macario? I think personally, it's just I know the program, I know what we're going into, so I would definitely say the experience and you know having that patience with everyone on my team and the trust is definitely going to be better. And I'm excited. So you, of course, you have the new 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 coaches coming in, new volunteer coach, Coach Salling as well. How how have they been integrating with the players in the team? It's been great. You know, we did lose some good coaches, but you know we brought back some better ones. You know, I think that like all together they just click with our our players. Of course, Shannon Shannon Sale came over from Oklahoma, if I'm yeah. not, not mistaken. What was it like to to play to take now have a coach that you like kind of played against here? Uh, it can get awkward at times when we talk about going to Norman, but you know, she's been in two national championships, so she knows what it's going to take, and I think that's a great tool for us. Macy, what do you what what is your biggest goal that you want to can make do you want to accomplish in your first season here? Um, I just want to help the team out any way that I can, um, whether that's in the infield or pitching, whatever it is. I just want to be a good teammate. <laughs> what? What drives the both of you to play the sport? Personally, I think it's my family. You know, not many coming from like an uh, immigrant background. It's good to like kind of do this for my family and kind of, you know, it's more greater than me. And also playing for the little girls that want to be in my shoes someday. It's like being that role model for them is what really drives me. I would say to, to just like loving the game, uh, wanting to get better, and also like having a family where they all played college sports it definitely pushes you to want to be like them and keep being great. What does it mean to you to have your dad being able to being able to uh, support you? It means a lot. Um, he knows a lot about college athletics, so it helps for sure. Did he end up getting a chance to talk with Gus while he was here? He did. Yes, <laughs> they're friends. <laughs> how, have you, how have you been finding Central Florida, by the way? I love it. It's really fun.
Michaela, how do you feel? Uh, how, do, you, how, how, do you feel really settled, settled in now? Kind of now you got that year under your belt. Yeah, I think that one year was such a great campaign. You know, it really did a lot of experience for me, and I could use that. In my what is the biggest? What is the biggest thing you want to see out of this team this season? I want to see us in top eight. You know, that's our this year's motto, 228. So Team 22 being top eight, and I think that's what we're all striving for this year. Yeah, I agree with her. I mean, top eight is the goal for sure. I just want to see us compete and work together. All right, awesome. Well, good luck with that on this season, ladies. Thank you very much. Thank you.